This video is sponsored by Babbel, one of the top language learning apps in the world. Their intuitive lessons help you learn your desired language through real-life conversations. I've always wanted to travel to Mexico, but have felt very intimidated by the language barrier. I don't want to go to a place without at least feeling like I can communicate the bare-bones basics of like ordering food, asking for directions, uh, figuring out public transport, things like that. And Babbel has been really, really helpful in getting me to a place where I feel confident about the idea of traveling to a Spanish-speaking country. I also love the self-improvement aspect of Babbel. It just makes me feel really good about myself to have a daily part of my routine that makes me feel like I'm learning and bettering myself. Babbel is scientifically proven to help you start speaking a new language in just three weeks. The lessons teach real-world conversations and are designed by real language teachers. They'll prepare you to have practical conversations about travel, business, relationships, and more. Ella es Ana y él es Miguel. No entiendo. Aprendo español. Mucho gusto. And they do a great job of making the learning process feel exciting and fun. I never really feel like I'm studying. It's more like a bunch of little mini games. Start learning with Babbel today and you can be speaking a new language in time for adventures this summer. Click the link in the description below or scan the subscription. Thank you so much to Babbel for sponsoring this video, and be sure to let me know which language you're most interested in learning and why. Hello, I hope that you are doing very, very, very well tonight. 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 I want to help you relax by showing you some books and doing some tapping and tracing on them, maybe telling you a bit about them. The first one is one I've had since I was a kid called How to Draw and Paint Fairies in Gold Letters butterflies there, a light blue butterfly, and this beautiful fairy with golden wings perched on a bed of leaves, vines that curl up and around like that, like that, that, these lovely flowers, there's one, two, three, from finding inspiration to capturing diaphanous detail, a step-by-step -step guide to fairy art. I've never heard the word diaphanous before. I don't know what that means. This picture on the back has a, an assortment of mischievous little baby fairies crawling out of and up and around a teapot. These are quite cute. I like this one with her crown of blackberries on her head. I really, really like this fairy here who's playing with a bubble made of the O in two. He's got this silhouette. Alright, who can we talk about in here? Got to flip through, flip through. Sculpted and funky following current fashions, it says. This elegant address leaves. This address of elegant leaves frames the face to give an ethereal, otherworldly look. A floral wreath an ideal accessory for a flower fairy. A few separate tendrils can often look better than a bushy mass of hair. Beautiful flowing auburn hair, the color of the leaves in fall, needs no other adornment. An ivy leaf has been formed into an attractive rain hat. The 
few things I have are not technically books, but I'm excited to show them to you. I picked these up at um, an antique store the other day, and I just really love these things like this that are, you know, I don't know how to put it, like relics from the past, but in an extremely mundane way. Um, like things that definitely weren't important enough objectively to save, but I'm so glad somebody did. This is the menu for Bernstein's Fish Grotto. I like this border here with the blue waves, like that. School of Fish. This guy's got his mouth wide open. This lobster looks a little angry. He probably knows he's about to get eaten. There's, um, King Titan Trident. I know he's got a trident. What the heck is that guy? Well, he's the he's the king. Oh wow, I was gonna say he looks like he's got a naked, but then I saw this lady. Don't look. I did not point there. I'm even this picture here of what the restaurant looked like. That's kind of cool. You can see all the chairs. This was some kind of fancy place. It's in Los Angeles. I love the font. This just looks like such an old font. No substitutes on luncheons. Our special 50 cent luncheon served from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. There's a special grotto clam chowder. Rice custard pudding. Fresh vegetables. of different things. Here it is. Use it. Take home service. The same delicious seafoods and many others that you have enjoyed here are available at retail prices for home use. On your way out, please notice the choice assortment of fish and shellfish at our take home counter. Bernstein's free parking service. System auto park, two hours. Cool. Clams on the half shell, cocktail fritters, steamed, roast, etc. Opened while you wait. Cuckoo clams are obtained only at Bernstein's Fish Grottoes. Mm -hmm. Wow, so lobster. A whole lobster would have cost you a dollar twenty-five. Crazy. Chef's dashaway plate, ready to serve. Fried yellowtail, vegetables, potatoes, coffee, tea, or milk for 60 cents. I like this curly cube border. Do, 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 do. Chef's dashaway plate. Tony Deluxe, one dollar. Couple lobsters in the corner. Fisherman with his net. Bernstein's dinner at the box served from 3 to 9. You get crab for 60 cents. Apple pie for 15 cents. Pirate salad for 70 cents. I wonder what's in pirate salad. Stamped one there after the fact, milk oats cheesecake for 20 cents. Oh, cool. Pictures of some of the dishes. 
I'm not sure when this menu is from, but these pictures look so 50s or 60s. Still, Epicurean Delight of Clams, Lobster, Salmon, served in an abalone shell. I was really puzzled by this. A lot of a lot of things have like question marks following them. Why are there question marks here? It like describes it to you, and then it's question marks of like, but who am I? Don't trust me. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just a little guy. Lobster princess. Pieces of eight. This looks terrible. Tim bales, lobster, shrimp, crab legs, tomatoes, avocados, buccaneer dressing, question mark, question mark, makes this fit for the gods. That's so funny. It's like, yeah, buccaneer dressing. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Don't ask me. Seafood platter. A potpourri of delicacies from sea and shore. And dressing question question so unusual 135 a fact fish caught at 5 a.m. served here the same day to our guests we thank you for your patronage any suggestion that would help to improve our service or your comfort will be appreciated your friends may like being told about the excellence and variety of our food Reasonable prices, unique dining rooms, and our take on counter service. We look forward to seeing you again. Ahoy! Your favorite fish may be out of season or unavailable because of weather conditions. If you will leave your telephone number with us, we will gladly notify you on its arrival. Well, that was so cool. I haven't really taken that close of a look at that since I bought it, and it was really fun love getting a little, like, I don't know, snapshot into the past and things like that. And then, another similar thing I have from an age-long past is this blue pink blue pink striped pamphlet of household hints household hints Doo -doo -doo. national life and accident insurance company onions dipped in scalding water before peeling will never cause the eyes to water is that true Also, I don't know. Jelly won't gel. Try bringing it to a boil with several slices of unpeeled lemon and orange. I love these drawings. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. <laughs> um, if starch sticks to your iron, and tear off a piece of wax paper and run the iron over it. sour cream has three times as many calories as yogurt. Sour cream is made from light cream while yogurt is made from skimmed or whole milk. What? What is that? What's the tip? <laughs> I guess, are they suggesting that any circumstance where your husband would want sour cream, just give him yogurt? But I don't think that that, like, what put a dollop of yogurt in your chili? No, thank you. <laughs> Scanning these, I feel like half of these tips look like they're jello related, which just feels so fitting for the 60s. <laughs> and then the last thing like that I have is Crawford's Pocket Guide to Bryce. Canyon 
trails. There's some cool rock formations there sketched in red outline. And then cute little red border there. This pocket guide will run you 25 cents. This space for notes and photo data. Cool. Let's see. Fairyland loop. While this trail is not especially steep, it is strenuous, strenuous because of its length. Goes like that. Curls around there. Twists. Go that way. And then you could go over there. And forks off. Or you could have gone over there. Go this way. And the scale is 5 inches, translates to 1 mile because it's got little sketches showing the sights. So, you could go on over here and check out Liberty Castle or the Wall of Windows. Head on down here and admire Goblin's Grottoes. Down over this way, make your way around. Maybe stop at the water and restrooms or the picnic area. Don't forget Ali Oop and Dinny, the three wise men, and Joseph and Mary. Help keep the park clean. Carry your film wrappers back to the top and deposit them in rubbish receptacles. Hindu temples. Cathedral. Bryce Temple. Stay on the trail. Shortcutting is unlawful. register at the lodge, not on the rocks. Be sure your cigarette is out. Photograph the flowers, don't pick them. Here there's Seal Castle. Pass by Queen's Garden. Stop at Sunrise Point. Make your way around over to Ostler Castle. Tower Bridge and Fairy Temple. Up and around to Fairyland Viewpoint, Palace of the Fairy Queen, and Crescent Castle. terrifying beast on the front with many eyes and tentacles. He's terrified. He's gonna attack. A menagerie of deadly monsters for the world's greatest role-playing game. The Monster Manual presents a horde of classic Dungeons and Dragons creatures including dragons, giants, mind flayers, and beholders. A monstrous feast for dungeon monsters, ready to challenge their players and populate their adventures. The monsters contained herein are called from the D&D game's illustrious history, with easy-to-use game statistics and thrilling stories to feed your imagination. I like the art for ghosts. She's very pretty. I like her blue color and her outfit with the laced up corset. The cloak draped over her shoulders, going down her back, down her back, flowing out from behind her legs. She's holding maybe a locket, a pocket watch, a lantern. I like her tall boots, a skirt. She's quite cool. The ghost is the soul.
really good. I don't know how to describe it. Like in a textbook, textbook way. I'm probably smelling like the glue. <laughs> I don't know. It just smells good. I wish you could smell it. I think you'd agree. <laughs> this page says endless and your eyes are filled with tears, gushing, gushing, many, many tears. But judging by the rest of her expression, it looks like they are tears of joy. I like her hair and her pink headphones. She's saying, Anya, more. Oh, hey, cool. An Anya song. Sail away, sail away, sail away. Wow, Anya's great. Let's play some more. The stars in her eyes and some more and some more 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 and more <laughs> infinite procedurally generated Enya endless Enya at mischiefmag.com thank you so much for that mischief mag any Enya fans out there here. Lovely ladies with their wings. Mm, who's this? I don't know who that's supposed to be. Maybe the rose makes me think it's the beast from Beauty and the Beast, but just a much more um, antiquated version of how he would look. And then there's the bottle for the genie. this guy with a key looking at this kid on a polar bear. I'm not familiar with that tale. Always gotta love those gilded edges. This image is kind of funny. I'm not sure what's supposed to be going on here, but this guy Shining through, making it a bit transparent. His weapon. 
mountains on the other side of the cliffs is his foe quite a striking sky I like that this book is such a brick hefty brick of a book I feel like it this is such a good classic book tapping sound like yeah this sounds just as tapping a book should Book one of the Stormlight Archive. take a peek at this flower guide that will tell us about the flowers east of the Rockies and there's these blooms there on the front in gold the leaves I love the shape of this book how it's like wide and short it's just such a cute shape for this so this was a Christmas gift like it was written in 1907 though. There's this cute sketch showing the different parts of flowers. Looks like this is the stigma, the style, the petals, the bract, flower head, the spathe, the spadex. It's a set of leaf.
See you next time.